Hi, my name is Tim Roxins and welcome to this lecture, IT Systems Management. In this lecture, we'll cover an overview of IT systems uh, concepts, the components, uh, as well as a quick history of IT systems, and lastly, the application in business. So let's get started. So, what is an IT system? In this diagram, IT comprises of computers, communications, and know-how. Uh, computers is the systems that allow you to accept, process, store, and present data and information. Communications enables you to transmit or to send that data and information over a network. And this is where your WAN or LAN comes into play. Know-how is your people and process aspects which enable the technology to work. Other concepts that we need to be familiar with include hardware, which is the equipment, program, software, uh, both which are instruction sets which are used to manipulate or control computers to deliver certain results, and of course systems and information systems which is the tools including processes and the people aspects that allow information to be processed and transformed and transmitted management is the component that enables the harnessing of the power of information systems within an organization for example to enable business outcomes and so in terms of computer system components a computer system comprises of hardware and software software includes application software an example being a word processor like microsoft word system software classical example would be operating system like linux or microsoft windows and as we look at the IT and IS system functions. IT has six functions, which is to capture, to process, to transmit, generate, store, and retrieve information. From a strategic user's point of view, you can look at it from an internal perspective, use within an organization, an interaction between colleagues, for example, uh, use of collaboration tools, Externally, use with customers, in this case business-to-customer interactions, or between businesses, which would be B2B or business-to-business, -business. an example being with vendors or suppliers. In terms of a quick history of the evolution of IT, the diagram on the left shows you the, right from the telegraph way back in the 1800s uh, and up to now, and on the right, obviously, uh, just a summary view from the 60s, from the mainframe era to the PC era of the 70s and 90s, uh, to the modern era of the connected cloud or internet era. In the next slide, we look at the application of information systems across the organization, right from the top, with executive information systems in use, and in middle management level, or what you'd call tactical level, management information systems being used there. And at operation level, transaction processing systems, uh, a good example being order processing that is used in shops and supermarkets. Now, as we conclude, you'll notice that information systems permeate every sphere of our lives, right from professional, in businesses, community, personal, as well as family, where the use of all these technologies come into play. You'll also note from the diagram in the middle on adoption rates that the rate of change has accelerated rapidly, that it took more than 40 years, for example, in the US, for electricity to be adopted or to gain mainstream adoption, or at least more than 25%, versus smartphones which have taken less than 10 years. 
So with that, that concludes our lecture. Thank you so much for listening. Goodbye.